Hello everyone, welcome to Larafant. My name is William Juma. In this video episode, we are going to do an addendum to the uploading of files to Google Drive using the Laravel HTTP client. We did uh, two videos and uh, the video where we were uploading the files, once we upload the files, we were getting that the files were 0 MB. And so it was um, sort of an effort that was not bearing any fruit. And so this is an additional video and we are just going to modify a few parts within our code. So if you have not watched the previous video, please watch the two previous videos. And they will give you some insight on what uh, you're supposed to do regarding uploading files to Google Drive using the Laravel HTTP client. Of course, there are other packages that you can be able to use to upload files to Google Drive, but this one is without using any package. So in our previous videos, we had um, several things here. Of course, we had a method that was uh, the access token. This one that was generating for us the access token. And then in our store method is where we had we were processing and uploading the file. So we are validating the file names in the file. And then after that, we have the access token. Then the name we were, um, we were making it a slug by doing that so that I want to remove because it was uh, messing up some of the things that you're having in that name. So I will just remove it completely like that. And then after that, we had the meme. We were passing in the meme of the file. We will not need that in this method that I want to talk about. And then I do not know if we had the path. So we can get the path by getting the request file, get real path. So basically that is what we were having. Now inside the making of the request, we had this piece of code that uh, is what was problematic. And then down here we were getting, if the response is successful, we were saving our upload. And then after that, we can say file uploaded to Google Drive. So basically this one will remain. The only thing that I want to remove is where we're having response, this one here. So this, I'm going to remove everything entirely. So I will delete. And then we can go ahead and now do our request. So what I'm going to do is uh, I will say response. And then we can uh, just say HTTP uh, with, with token. And inside here, we can pass in our access token. After that, we will attach our files. So attach. And we can pass in data as our first var variable. And then we will get, we'll say file get contents. And inside here, we are going to pass in the path. In the path we, I have shown you where we have it. Then lastly, we will pass in the file, just like that. The file, I think we have called it name, not file. So you pass in the name. After doing that, then we can go ahead and uh, now make a post request. And this post request is being made to the URL HTTPS, HTTPS www.googleapis.com forward slash upload forward slash drive forward slash version three and forward slash files. And then we can have a comma. And then after that, we can pass in two things here. So the first uh, array of values, we can pass in the name of our file. And then we can also pass in the content type in a different array of values. So here we can say content uh, hyphen type, and then we can say application forward slash octet stream. And um, according to how everything is, I suppose this will be able to work for us. 
So let me save. And just show you such that you can have the view of everything that I have typed in. I want us to go ahead and try it out and see what happens. So I will go to, we will run our, our project localhost 8000 and then of course connect to the database because after uh, uploading we need to get the file id and then we need to save the file id and the name that we provided for our file so i will type in here my uh, picture one and just choose a uh, picture file from here so then I will say submit and you can see file uploaded to Google Drive so meaning we are successful but I also want us to go ahead and check if this file is actually um, we can be able to open it so I will open the account that has uh, our Google Drive and then click and open Google Drive and see if there is a file that has been uploaded recently and you can see we have a file when i open it it now has contents so meaning everything is uh, working fine and uh, basically that is uh, all about this tutorial video thank you very much for following this video tutorial up until this point if you are new to this channel please consider giving us a subscription and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you.